We were made to be courageous. We were made to lead the way. We could be the generation that finally breaks the chains. Just see my 
courageous We were made to lead the way We could be the generation That finally breaks the chains Every time I have confidence in God And then the moment Sister Elisa sang that song It's like you look at the devil and tell you I don't trust in myself But I just trust in him we were made to be courageous We were made to lead the way We could be the generation That finally breaks the
courageous We were made to lead the way We could be the generation That finally breaks the chains Hallelujah! Praise the Lord for Lord Jesus! Amen. Amen. I always believe Kuti Chichose that we talk about has its reference in the Word of God. Hallelujah. Now, whatever we'll be discussing, I want to start by opening a scripture in the book of Daniel, chapter number one. I'll start reading from this. Number five, the king also gave orders that every day they were to be given the same food and wine as the members of the royal court. After three years of this training, they were to appear before the king. Among those chosen were Daniel, Hanaira, Michelle, and Azamia, all of whom were from the tribe of Judah. The chief official gave them new names, Belshazzar, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Daniel made up his mind not to let himself become literally unclean by eating the food and drinking the wine of the royal court. So he asked Ashpenaz to help him. And God made Ashpenaz sympathetic to Daniel. Ashpenaz, however, was afraid of the king. So he said to Daniel, the king has decided what you are to eat and drink. And if you don't look as fit as other young men, he may kill you. So Daniel went to the God whom Ashpenaz had placed in charge of him and his three friends. Test us for ten days, he said. Give us vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then compare us with the young men who are eating the food of the royal court and base your decision on how we look. He agreed to let them try it for ten days. When the time was up, they looked healthier and stronger than all those who had been eating the royal food. So from then on the guard let them continue to eat vegetables instead of what the king provided. God gave the four young men knowledge and skill in literature and philosophy. In addition, he gave Daniel skill in interpreting visions and dreams. And at the end of the three years set by the king, Ashpenaz took all the young men to Nebuchadnezzar. The king talked with them all, and Daniel, Hananiah, Michelle, and Azariah impressed him more than any of the others. So they became members of the king's court. No matter what question the king asked, or what problem he raised, these four knew ten times more than any fortune teller or magician in his whole kingdom. We were made to be courageous, we were made to lead the way, we could be the generation that finally breaks the chains. We have read a scripture in the book of Daniel. And the Bible is talking about four people. Daniel, Shadrach, Mishik, and Abednego. 
ni mwisi ya maja wako ni agogo angani panda rezi muka and I was told the very day I was born I was born so small to the extent in a root amen ana kuwa mateo la wako samaya ni kani kalanda so they said this child will die So my mom says, Matoela me na yusa on me, ana do mamba chau zola do. So when I was born, they gave me a name Kuma, which means divine. My my grandmother gave me this name to encourage herself. Would whatever happen to this baby, Timoni? Everybody was calling me a bastard, and the elder sister. My mom, she was teaching at the same school where I was going. So she said one statement one day. She, she looked at my mom and she says, "In our entire family, when the men are here, see, that you, my sister, I feel sorry." But you know what I'm teaching you? Daniel reaches at that level, and he says, "What others are teaching?" If I can't pay the price, I can't be counted. Can't be counted. So I had to ignore the choices other people were making, and I had to make my own choices. And my parents were saying, "No, no, no. Why do you grab that issue of money? Who can save us? Save us? Save us? Save us? Can I put your money in the bank?" I said, "He says I should do it now." Now that is my first degree, now I was supposed to go and study the law. And my cousin called me, he said, hey, what program you have? No HIV part. I was quiet. Right. I just had to cut the call. The very person who had paid my fees at Kapuka, now she was waiting for me to do what we had promised to go and study the law. And I had no choice but to disappoint her. And we were not even talking. Because I was going in a way that everybody was thinking that's the end of it. How can this young man have a degree and that's part it? Because he says God has taught him. And he made one that's worse. One day I was preaching in the church and the second man asked me, when he says, why are you working? I said, I'm not working, I'm just serving God. He said, what? I should just go talk to him. He said, go talk to him. I said, yes. He said, I have my friend who said the same. Now he's a great one, he's looking for a job. Ni mafika pale kwa makala cha mungu mtoto wa my body was standing there. Pena mafuta kubwa kwa tasini kwa. And then, kumasha kwa mungu yangu na na. When the first thing was up, I thought God would have to be quick. Nothing was happening. Listen to me. When there is light, you can see it. Make 
No. People who make useless decisions, they become useless. Important people make important decisions. Have you heard that? Important people make what? Important decisions. The direction of your destiny has been carried in the boat of your choices. Bless you with the spiritual gift. 
Jesus. God will give you the grace to make the right decisions. God will give you grace to take better choices. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will become influential. You will move from nobody to somebody. The, the favor of God shall make you have things beyond your age, beyond your education. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Spirit of the Lord shall connect you and help you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Clap up for you. We were made to be courageous. We were made to lead the way. We could be the generation that finally breaks the chains. We were made to be courageous.